What is up heroes, this is Midnight Zero, and welcome back to Let's Play Fatal Frame Maiden of Blackwater Blind. In the last episode, we searched for Fuyuhi, and we found her, though she was also found by somebody else, a blood maiden, who convinced her, or rather forced her, to kill herself, and afterwards we had to fight her ghost, as well as that of a blood maiden. And all in all, we asked rank the chapter, which means I guess it turned out pretty well for us, even if it didn't turn out so well for our friends. And in this episode, we're going to enter the third drop. Finally play as Nen, the character that we have been, I guess, like in their antiquities shop. Um, and we've seen, potentially, a video of him stabbing a girl in the back. Uh, presumably a nightmare that's haunting him. And he's investigating to see if it's actually his memory or not. I also want to say before we get into this episode that I commented a couple times on how dark this game looked. And I compared some of my footage to other footage and was like, you know what, I think the recording footage and the TV footage are not lining up well, so I did mess around with the brightness settings a little bit, so let me know if this is better, worse, same, doesn't matter, whatever it may be. Anyways, for the third drop, we're going to play on normal difficulty. We have Ren Hojo, the author who sent Hisoka to find the fo photographs, takes a closer look at the album. One photo catches his eye, and he decides to investigate further. He goes to the inn with the camera obscura and Rui, his assistant. Okay. Well, I'll do the usual, not really buy any more of this. This must be something that resets each time we start a new episode, because we collected plenty of this film in the last one. We also have a ton of points. We should probably upgrade our camera, right? It'd be cool if you could, you know, upgrade attributes like reload time and damage and that sort of thing. But anyways, post-mortem photography. That's the that's the photo in the background that we looked for in uh, or looked or used to look for other I don't know the photo album, right? in episode one, but Ren Hojo, a writer, is haunted by a recurring dream in which he kills a young girl during a ritual. He receives an album of postmortem photographs located on his request by Hisoka. Upon viewing one of the books, Ren recognizes the very scene from his dreams. Eager to delve further into this puzzling mystery, Ren heads to the abandoned inn in person this time, bringing along his assistant, Louis Kagamiya. So off we go.綺麗だけど、なんだか悲しそうな人ですね。ああ。こういうタイプの女の人苦手じゃなかったんですか。<笑><笑> すぐに確かめたい。こんな時間からですか？場所は聞いてある。Yeah, we definitely don't want to be there past sunset, right? じゃあ、射撃を持っていきますか？まだ使ったことはありませんけど、試してみるチャンスがあります。We haven't used it yet. あそこは良くない場所だと聞いていますから。ああ。my camera obscura is on the desk. Hisoka sent it back to me after appraising it for me. I should take that shadow reading report with me too. It may come in handy. But Umi's always complaining about me leaving things on the sofa. Yeah, you definitely have your things scattered around this office of yours. There's no doubt about that one. There's an antique looking camera on the desk. You got Ren's camera obscura. 
You got the measure upgrade. This displays the current health of a locked on enemy. There's an unfinished manuscript on the desk. It doesn't yet have a title. I'll need more materials to solidify the theme. Memorial portraiture. The act of photographing dead bodies was a practice in Western countries in the 19th century, a time when photography was still a rare and expensive luxury. The bodies of recently deceased family members and loved ones were photographed in lifelike poses, as a solemn keepsake of remembrance. While researching the phenomenon, I discovered that a similar custom made its way to Japan as well. Known as post-mortem photographs, a small amount of these photos still remain. I have been fortunate enough to obtain one such photograph, which I found to contain a certain beauty lacking in its western counterparts. When photography first arrived in Japan, it was accompanied by the prevalent superstition that photographs could steal a person's soul. Whether anyone truly believed this or not, it truly gave postmortem photography a special significance in Japan. If photos were taken with this belief in mind, then postmortem photographs would not simply have been taken as keepsakes, or for mourning purposes. Rather, the practice may have carried a certain deeper spiritual significance. And then here we have Hisoka's letter. It's a reply to the appraisal request for this camera obscura. It urges caution in using it. To Ren Hojo. The camera you left me to look at is a device known as a camera obscura. Its purpose is to capture images of the supernatural, things invisible to the naked eye. These cameras are incredibly rare, with an almost mythical status in the antiques market. A few have been known to exist, but this is the first I've ever seen with compound lenses. I don't mean to frighten you, but rumor holds that to own a camera obscura is to invite misfortune. They say everyone who has owned one has either died, lost their mind, or gone missing. The cameras themselves have outlived many owners. While some aficionados do seek them out, the stories of previous owners meeting with such misfortune has had an impact on their value as antiques. My camera obscura was left to a local family after its previous owner passed away. They graciously gave it to me. I believe yours is still usable, but please do exercise caution in doing so. Sincerely, Hisoka Kurosawa. P.S. The cover on your camera obscura is broken, but it seems it originally had a box shape. I doubt you'd sell it to me, but I would like to borrow it for a while if you don't mind. I am happy to compensate. Please think it over. From one antique collector to another, right? I left the shadow reading report on the sofa. I should take it with me, just in case. Anything interesting on these shelves? Could go for a little music. Guess we can take a look at this report. It may have some information that I could use. Who knows when I might need it. It's, oh, it's Yuri's report. This looks like a report written by Yuri. It seems to be about the photo album. Found item report. Client, Ren Hojo. Report by Yuri Koskata. Verified by Hisoka Kurosawa. Details of request. Find items pertaining to postmortem photography on Mount Hikami. Obtain them if possible. Perform shadow reading using a postmortem photograph found on Mount Hikami as a token. Locate an album of postmortem photographs in Ichiru Manor. Took custody of the object. Pretty uh, short and sweet, right? Oh, and so now we're getting an idea of just where the Hojo residence is on this map. Where did I put that book about Mount Hikami? Has Nui been tidying up again? It might be on one of the shelves. And to the shelves we go. Granted, there are a lot of books on the shelf. If we didn't have this glint over here, it might take quite a while to find it. It's called The Maiden Slayer. I came across this book while researching Mount Hikami. I don't think this story has anything to do with what's going on now, but you never know. The Maiden Slayer. Mount Hikami has long been steeped in legends revolving around suiciding ghosts. Revered as a sacred place since time immemorial, it was once the worshipping ground and home of many shrine maidens. Once, there was a man who fell in love with a maiden and came to the mountain in order to court her. However, she remained loyal to her duties and refused his advances. Enraged, the man killed her and threw her into the river. Well, that escalated quickly. <laughs> Several days later, he returned with a torch and blade and proceeded to brutally butcher all the shrine maidens on the mountain, tossing them into the river as he went. The waters of the mountain flowed red with blood, carrying the slaughtered corpses of the maidens all the way down to the Pool of Purification. It is said that the eyes of each of the shrine maidens had been gouged out. Just before killing the first maiden and tossing her into the river, the man's eyes met with those of his victim. Something in her eyes led him to murder the others, or so the legend goes. With all the maidens dead, he killed himself by cutting his own throat. The ghosts of shrine maidens, still drenched in those bloodied waters, have appeared on the mountain ever since. It is said that those who meet their eyes are led to their deaths. They follow the women into the water and drown themselves. Oh, interesting. Kind of like uh, we saw 
with the five schoolgirls that were holding hands, right? Though only a legend, the story is believed to be based on an actual incident. Local records show that the bodies of several shrine maidens were discovered long ago, and that all rituals and rites ceased to be performed from that day on. And then we have Rui's Journal 1. Wow, a lot of reading to start this episode. <laughs> this looks like part of Rui's Journal. It must have gotten mixed in here while tidying. I feel bad reading it, but... Mr. Hojo can't clean up after himself. For someone who's lived alone for so long, he's incapable of housework. He can't cook, and he's bad at tidying up. I'm more like his caretaker than his assistant. He loses things all the time, and whenever he doesn't have a book he needs, he blows up. He usually ends up asking Miss Kurosawa for help. One time when I was trying to sort all his books, there was one I couldn't find anywhere. It's like it just disappeared. Miss Kurosawa found it with her shadow reading. She went into his room on her own, then came back out a little while later with the missing book. She just smiled and said something about making the invisible visible. What is the shadow reading business anyway? That reminds me of that one time. I was tidying up and I came across something I'd never seen before. It was like Miss Kurosawa said, the invisible became visible. It was kept inside an old box. I don't even know what it was. I put it aside to sort out later on, but when I went to take a proper look, it had vanished. It must have gone invisible again. Yikes. So we know that this place... Yeah, I agree. But it's almost like this office itself is very close to the, the netherworld, right? Alright. Let's get going. Off to Mount Hikami. Hikami Yama ni wa yugure doki ni haitte wa naranai toyu uwasa ga arun desu. Ouma ga toki ni yama ni hai ruto, yama wa betsu no sugata, honto no sugata o miseru. Hai ru no wa jisatsu shiyou to suru hito dake desu yo. Yikes, doesn't sound like a very fun place to be after dark. I really like Ren's voice. I don't know why it sounds familiar, but it's very, it's very cool. Arguably too cool for a character that looks, well, how he does. <laughs> Not that nerds can't be cool, but... Tutorial, Ren's Camera Obscura. Oh, is it going to be that much different? This type of Camera Obscura allows you to take multiple photos at once. Use the multi-shot function to take four photos at once, dealing more damage to the ghosts that you photograph. Taking multiple photos at once also helps to get fatal frame shots. After a multi-shot, the Camera Obscura will take longer than usual to reload the film. Keep in mind that multi-shots quickly use up a lot of film. Also, standard Camera Obscura lenses do not work with Ren's Camera Obscura. Interesting. So we can... Okay, so it's rapid fire kind of like that. Feel free to take more if you wish. To exit photo mode. <laughs> I'm good. Okay. Well, I guess we'll get going then. What's kind of interesting is that the standard lenses don't work. So part of what I'm curious about is... Proprietor's family lived there. Maybe they were buried. So we could have crawled through there. I don't I'm surprised the game is letting me kind of explore a bunch of different directions potentially. Right? Like, would it actually let me go over here? It seems like it, which is pretty interesting. But either way, we know we're here for the manor, right? Game's uh, stuttering a little bit as I run and across all these different load screens or loading zones, I'm sure. But here we are in the manor. camera is reacting to something. Hold down R2 to find the trail. Okay. The camera obscure has the power to take to photograph the invisible. I wonder if this is the same as the power Hisoka uses for her shadow reading. I think it is. Uh, 
And I wonder if we're going to have a chance to take a look at a lot of the ghosts we didn't last time. Anything over here? No? Okay. Thought I would take a look just to be safe. Oh, what was that? Oh, it's a ghost! The Drowned Woman. Well, we captured her. Unless she wants to fight or something? I don't know. Do we want to go over this way? Might as well. Take a glimpse. There's a heap of scrap wood at the end of the hallway. The water must have washed it all down here. There's a hole in the wall. I can see the next room over. It looks to be just as flooded. Do you want to actually look into the room? Aw, oh, man. This is the room where Yudi got attacked. Are we too going to be attacked? Doesn't seem so. Alright. We can... We... I think we're going that way, right? The hatch on the duct has shut itself. It must have been the wind. Oh yeah, it was totally the wind. Where is this ghost? Where's the ghost? I can't see it. I can't see it. What am I trying to... I thought there was a ghost. I guess not. I don't know. There are a few things going on here, obviously. It's a little bit disorienting, but not the end of the world, I guess. This looks like some herbal medicine. Ooh, do you see that successful dodge? That's the first time. <laughs> so we got two herbal medicines, lovely. Like, do you guys see what I'm talking about? Where, Where is this item? Okay, it's here. This is gonna be some film. Nice. Type 14. That is some good stuff. Is it telling me there's potentially an item in here? What is that sound? Do you guys hear that? That like creaking sort of sound? Is there something that's just not visible? Like I need to use the camera obscura to find? If there is, I have no idea where to look. Oh well, I guess? Oh, there's some something going on over there. Hands waving in the dark. What? Oh, wait, was it still giving me the icon over this way? No, it wasn't. Okay. Alright, then we'll keep heading up this way. Those hands... We're certainly getting pulled in that direction. But I'm curious to check what's up here. <laughs> Classic. Alright, I guess we won't go that way then. Hmm... We'll head that way in just a moment, I guess. Some more herbal medicine? Okay. Oh! Picture time! Oh, you're an enemy! Come on! I want to get a fatal frame. There we go. Yeah, we got quite a bit of damage in there, didn't we? Maybe I'll do some uh, some rapid fire stuff. Ooh, that was good. Especially if you know you're gonna get the fatal frame on the first hit. Oh, I can potentially. Um... Oh wait, I'm not a shadow reader. I was gonna say, can't you like see the final moments of the ghosts or something like that? By walking up to him and holding R2. I think we learned that in the last episode. Do you want to go to the left? Yeah, let's do it. Ah, oh, I hate that they pulled the doors open to themselves. Creepy doll. 
closet. Anything interesting? Ghost? None of the above? Okay. It's still quite dark, despite messing around with the uh, brightness and settings. So I feel like, to an extent, this is just the intended degree of darkness. Alright, we'll crawl through here. Head to the same place Hisoka and Yuri went to. And it's already unlocked for us. Lovely. Are you an enemy? No, you're not. Okay, good. Well, I'm glad we collected your spirit. <laughs> what a thing to say. The camera is reacting to something. Maybe I can see something through the viewfinder. Ooh. Is that how I need to take a picture of it, or... Or what? What do I... What do I do with it? Because it doesn't really get a... Oh, I, that's right, I need to like match the angle or something, right? A crumbled old note has materialized. This must be what the camera was reacting to. Messy note one. There's a note lying on the shelf. Maybe it belonged to someone who lived here. How long has it been since I lost everything? The mountain swallowed up half my inn. All I have left is that old album of postmortem photographs, the one left by my father. I don't even know who these photos are of, but it's the large but it's the last vestige of family I have. How long have I spent here, wallowing in the darkness? It doesn't matter. I'll burn it all, and then there will only be me. I think I'll end it up in the observ observation room on the roof. The sunset is lovely up there. No, don't do that. The camera's reacting to the note. Using this note as a token, I might find a trace that will lead me to some info about that photograph. Camera Obscura! Didn't we already get this guy, though? Man in the darkness? The flames are calling. A picture, it's all because of that picture. So I think that's the the person that we just read the note of, right? But um, it sounded like there's a little bit more to it. Is there anything in here? The alcove wall has come loose, revealing black soil behind it. This whole room must be buried. Either way, it looks like we're finally going up those stairs, right? Oh, what I was going to say is we don't have a trace or we haven't been looking at a trace, and I know that there are those moments where the trace is particularly strong that we can capture and get some points for. We haven't been doing that, so a little bit concerned. Also, one other thing is Ben and Hisoka seem to have different camera obscuras, so I wonder if the upgrades kind of carry between the two characters. Okay, this would be a good place to get attacked. I knew it. Are you... Enemies? Oh, you are. Okay, cool, cool. I'm all about that. Come on. Fatal frame. Fatal fr there we go. Holy cow. That was... That was awesome. That was so strong. Come on. Almost. Did we, get just, did we just get, like... Shutter chance plus fatal frame. That was that was some good stuff. Oh what? There's somebody behind us. Okay, I see you. You're sneaky, aren't you? What is that? That shriek. Jeez. Oh, I I can I can do this. ran into the water. Oh 
Oh my. Yikes. It is really neat that they included those types of flashbacks. I wonder how many of those are there are. Like, is every enemy a potential flashback? If so, that's really cool that they added so much depth to it. So it's a pretty bad photograph, but hey, we, uh, I didn't want to miss it. Yikes. Can't see anything outside the thick, frosted glass window. Perhaps the landslide buried the building even up to this floor. I believe we're on the second floor. So we shouldn't find that person there. Yikes. All these, like, local stories, you know? It's like, they say if you look up at this part of the building at this time of night, you might see something. What am I tr potentially picking up over here? Ooh, some more film. Some more Type 14, the good stuff. Alright, well, let's run on over here. See what we can find. <laughs> These icons, they're just not that helpful. They don't tell me anything. Some more Type 14 film. Dang, they're really arming us. Which, as I've mentioned in a previous episode, has me a little bit concerned. You know, when they give you the really good stuff. Some medicine, too. Any ghosts over here, or just a whole bunch of items? Can I go through this door? Seems like it. Let's give it a try. Rather, it's uh, it's locked. Let's see, hold down L2 and tilt the viewfinder, then take a psychic photograph with R2. Okay. Psychic photograph, what are we looking for? Oh, inside that vent. There's something in the photo. The photograph shows the duct with its hatch open. This photo might be showing me the location of the key to this door. Where's... is there a ghost I can see now? I don't know. If there is, I, I'm missing it. Supposedly. I don't know what this icon's telling me. Oh, there was! There was a ghost. Not that I would have known. Uh, that's a little frustrating, obviously. But what's this on the ground? This definitely wasn't here before. There's a soiled notebook here. Messy note, too. Like the one found in the old building, it looks like it belonged to the innkeeper. Even before the landslide, there were always strange goings on around here. Some years ago, two girls went missing on a college field trip. The police were stumped. A few days later, one of the girls turned up again, seemingly out of her mind. There were lots of theories, but most people believe they were simply spirited away. That girl came back each year to look for a friend like some sort of pilgrimage. Countless people have gone missing here over the years. We're all used to it by now. My father was spirited away too, as was the folklorist, Keiji Watarai. Next it'll be my turn, I bet. I'll vanish with the rest of them. I doubt anyone will think to come looking for me. Well, that's a pretty dark thought. Can we run through here? Oh, no we can't. All right, and we'll run over this way and across. So now we're heading back to that vent. I'm gonna see what we can find. I thought the vent was right there. Right? Or maybe not. Maybe it was down this way on our left. Are we gonna get attacked? Or what? 
I can't get the hatch to the duct open. It's being held shut by a powerful force. The camera is reacting to it. Tutorial sync shots? What are these? Taking photos identical to the psychic photographs taken with the camera obscura can break seals blocking your access. Oh, that's cool. Take a photo that matches the one you already have. Okay. I could probably do something like this. Oops. That should be pretty close. Yeah. Sweet. Huh, that's a cool concept. The hatch to the duct is now open. There's something in there among the pipes. You don't say. You found a key on yellow keychain. Okay. So that's gonna unlock the door at the end of that area we just explored. Oh, I'm being attacked. I don't know where from. But we'll take a look and hopefully find out pretty soon. Are they in here? Ah, there they are. They're a little bit close. A little too close for my liking. So what we'll do is... Oh, I tried to do... I tried to do once I got the fatal frame. Ah, shoot. That's not going to stun him. Darn it. Can I see, please? Thank you. Okay. Where are you going? Are you still there? Or did you teleport or what? I guess you're still there. Right? I don't know where this ghost went. There you are, bud. Welcome back to the land of, I don't know, the lounge, I guess. It didn't give me the real chance to, what's it called, try to touch or tap into his memories. So I don't think it's a thing for every type of ghost, but I'll still try after most of them. Oh my! Take the picture! Oh, you're an enemy! I thought you were going to be like a collectible ghost. Wow, you have a, definitely have a different attack pattern and everything. Come on. Nice. You got a good close up there. Should probably take one there just to kind of lock in that little bit there. All right, all right, come on. I'm ready for you. All right, I was not ready for you. I lied. Come on. There we go. Where'd you go? Oh, you dropped from above. That's actually great. I kind of love that. Almost there. You coming, bud? I'm ready for you. Huh. Are you gonna like back up into me or something? What's going on? Interesting. Oh, he's gonna drop from above. Oh, what? Ah, darn it. Okay, we're ready for another attack. That multi shot is really nice. Where did you go? Behind me? Oh, I guess so. Oh, do I only have 76 ammo? Am I using the Type 14 ammo? Oh, I didn't even realize that. The ghost left something behind when it disappeared. A soil note has been left here. So I guess I've been wasting ammo with some of those excessive multi-shots. Oh well. 
It looks like it was left by the innkeeper. This place has gone from a tourist hotspot to a suicide hotspot. But I suppose that was always the case. This mountain and death go together, side by side. Mikomori was once known as the Grove of Shrine Maidens, a sacred grove where the mountain's maidens oversaw the deaths of pilgrims, easing their passing to the other side. I like that. I envy it. I wish someone would be there to see me off. Was that the man who wrote this note? Maybe I'll find something upstairs. I have a... Yeah, I can understand if you'd be a little bit spooky. You open the door using the key on yellow keychain. Oh, that's right, I keep forgetting to... Oh, hello there. Picture time! Pretty bad picture, but... Hey, we got it. <laughs> yeah, so we do have limited ammo. Interesting, because when we were Yuri, we had infinite ammo with that one film type. Let me see if that's something... I also want to see Ben's camera. Type 7 film. Interesting. So I do have infinite of this type 14, or this type 7 film. I wonder why I must have accidentally switched to type 14. Which of these is better? Probably the Type 14. We'll see. Upgrades. We have all three of these. Can I... Oh, I'm interested in the, the enhancement section, right? So this is for Ren's camera. Whoa, they require tons of points! Upgrades the camera obscura's sensor capabilities, increasing attack distance. The loader upgrades the camera obscura's loading speed, shortening the time between taking pictures. I like that. Output upgrades the camera obscura's output potential, increasing damage. And then Snapshot slows the enemy down whilst taking photos, using the 4 continues. I think I like the idea of increasing the loading speed. That's probably the biggest throttle to me at the moment, so we'll do that. And we'll only do one upgrade for the time being, just because I don't want to only upgrade Ren's camera and then get to Yudi and not, not have anything to work with, right? The stairs leading down are buried under Earth. It doesn't look like I can get down this way. Then up this way we will go. Oh, anything interesting? There's some sort of indicator. Do you want to go to the right or to the left? I can go to the right for now. Ah, here's an item. What is it? Oh, is it another one of those mirror stones? It is. That'll automatically revive us. What's on the other side? There are these two doors here. They probably lead to the same area. Probably? Where's the ghost? Where's the ghost? I don't know. Maybe on the other side? The sunset, it's so beautiful. The mountain looks like it's melting. We can melt into that sunset. Yikes. I bet as soon as we get closer into the lake, into the setting sun. Yep. There he goes. Oh, and interestingly enough, didn't we see him on the other side when we were walking that one way? We saw him jump off, and he was a bit of a jump scare, right? Interesting. There's a scrap of notebook paper on the floor. It looks like there's something written on it. The sunset beckons. It's calling me into the water. This is the right thing to do. Sad. It sounds possessed. It really does. The window below is shattered. Did that man jump from here? Interesting. Is that an item I can pick up? No. Okay. That's the door... That's the door I came out of. Do you see that little bit of black on the bottom of that? I thought that was like something coming out to get me. Do I want to go out? Oh! Hurry! Camera Obscura time! Alright, I mean, it wasn't showing me the, the little circle to have it count. That's a bummer. Because I had the time. What do we have out here? Some more film. Okay, some Type 14 film. Is this something we can interact with? No, it doesn't look so. Alright. 
Well, we have a couple different rooms we can enter, right? I'm tempted to go into this room first. Maybe we had to have gone into the room to take that picture. What is this one? Man staring at something. Well, hopefully we'll find that something. The whole room is charred. That man might have left something behind. If he did, it'll likely be hidden. We'll probably have to use our photographing skills to uncover whatever was being looked at. It's probably in this corner here. So let's turn around. There we go. Get that angle. And kaboom. Oh, was I not like, was that not strong enough or what? There we go. Oh, this must be the journal I was looking for. Oh no, there's that room we didn't explore! Do we? Don't walk over there. Don't you dare. Definitely looks like it. Come on, then run. Oh my. All right, it's battle time. Oh man. With that reduced load time, we got so many we got so many photos in there. the attack nice getting some big damage in there I gotta do this guys for <laughs> oh where are you going on my right or above me or what oh oh you're hanging in front of me yikes That was your attack. Oh, it, she's literally just kind of like hanging. Ready to kind of swing at us, I guess. Right? I think that's the attack, actually. And... She's swinging at us. Come on. And... Oh! Interesting! We could include... We could actually include Rui in order to take advantage of his sort of icon. Where did you go? There you are. We can potentially even take advantage of the the noose itself in terms of its icon. Well, we could get Rui in the picture too. We could get a nice shutter shot. But we're not quite there yet. Oh, almost. You gonna go back to the right again? No, I don't think so. Coming. gonna attack or what?
Come on. Alright, I'm getting kind of bored. <laughs> I guess I should try and do that a bit more often. Create the little spirit remnants or whatever they're called. Rather than just waiting on counters. But yeah, we saved Nui. The true boss. I'll have you know I have a camera. A camera obscura. And it can do a lot of damage. Whoa, that was fast. Yeah, <laughs> she really reached out and got to me pretty quickly. Whoa got a nice shutter chance in there. I don't know what was, she was loading or whatever <laughs> to weaponize with, but that was... that could have been bad. Alright. We're ready. Okay, we're a little bit less ready now. Where are you? <laughs> okay, I took a picture hoping I could get something off, but... I can try to take advantage of... Louis being in the picture to get a shutter chance. Potentially. Okay. There we go. Nice. Could do that to create some of those guys. Aw, oh, man. Okay, you're still there. Man, I, I probably could have made another... Come on, Fatal Frame, Fatal Frame. I'm waiting. Nice. I was prepared. Alright, maybe we're gonna get you in the picture this time. There we go. <laughs> That's such a funny strategy. Oh, but I accidentally absorbed one of them. I almost didn't want to do that so I could get a shutter chance. What an interesting strategy. Oh, I was too early. No, I wasn't. Okay. Just got in the Widow for the Fatal Frame, I think. Nice. I think we took, took her out. Yeah? Yes. Saved Rui a second time now. <laughs> a woman dressed like a shrine maiden. Is she connected to the note that I found? There's a note here. It seems to have been singed by a little by fire. Messy note four. The album of postmortem photographs was assembled by a folklorist who lived on the mountain. His name was Keiji Watarai. He became fascinated by the custom and moved to Mount Hikami to study how it spread through Japan. My father seemed to take an interest in these photos as well. Strange foreign customs always fascinated him. While he was running the inn, he helped Watarai collect postmortem photographs from the nearby town. On Mount Hikami, water itself was deified. It sounds like Watarai wanted to get a deeper understanding of this unique outlook, so he set up a house in the forest to experience it firsthand. He was greatly aided by my father, who had already set up the inn by that point. He remodeled it from an old, unused shrine. I think he thought the extra religious heft would help attract more visitors. One day, the folklorist went missing. Several people formed a search party, but they were unable to find a trace. Even the road to his house seemed to have been lost to the woods. My father scoured the mountain too, but all he found was that photo album. He was soaking wet when he got back. I remember he was acting strangely. His eyes had this curious glint, almost like he'd been possessed by something. The next thing I knew, my father went missing as well. I'd forgotten about the photos until I found them in the old building, after the landslide. But now I understand why my father left. What did I too? These photos are so beautiful. Yikes. That's scary. 
So eerie, right? Keiji Waturai, a folklorist who lived on Mount Hikami. Hisoka probably has some books about him. We should get back. Rui needs to rest. The photo album left behind by the innkeeper was put together by a folklorist who lived on Mount Hikami. As Van and Rui explored the inn and traced the spirit of its owner, a ghost tried to lure Rui to suicide. Then, through the pouring rain, an ominous shrine maiden appeared. Ren and Rui left the mountain with more questions than when they started. Okay, we got ourselves an A rank. It's probably because I didn't explore that room. <laughs> no, it's it's fine. Um, maybe we just took a while, but I thought we moved pretty pretty decently. Not that the score is the end of the world for me. So that was that was a pretty good episode. Honestly, I, I liked it quite a bit, and it's nice to see our first time playing as Ren was actually so impactful. It was so dramatic when Rui was potentially about to commit suicide at the hands of that blood maiden, right? Interlude Shadow Reading with Yuri Kozukata. Okay. Okay. With Hisoka still missing, Yuri recalls what she witnessed on the mountain. Fuyuhi taking her own life while entranced by a malevolent spirit, and the bodies of dead shrine maidens washed up at the Pool of Purification. These disquieting images leave Yuri with no doubt that Mount Hikami houses some kind of horrifying secret. Yuri takes the camera obscura that she found on the mountain and begins searching for a token that will lead her to Hisoka. Interesting. So Yuri taking things into her own hands to find her her teacher. Who was that? I don't know. Interesting. And I can't, like, exit to the menu or anything. Hisoka's camera obscura is on the desk. This is the only picture from the camera obscura that shows anything. Shadow on water. A dark silhouette standing on what looks like a body of water. That looks kind of like the maiden of black water, right? The other photos are no good. They're all black, as if they were exposed to strong light. This doesn't tell me anything. Maybe there are more clues in Hisoka's room. Okay, what else can we find in here? Hisoka put this desk here for me. This used to be the H Hisoka's bedroom, but she freed it up for me to use. Okay, anything else in our room? Doesn't seem so. Hmm, it's raining out. Oh, I love rainy days. Just kind of bundling up inside. Playing a game, usually. <laughs> Extra points if it's scary. I think that was Hisoka's office we just passed. Yeah? Yeah, I think so. Oh my! Hisoka Kurosawa leaving a room. We're, we're legitimately tra shadow tracing her. Hisoka. She liked to sit at her desk to relax. The Japanese style of the room helped her de-stress. The drawer is locked. The camera obscura is reacting to it. Huh, so it looks like it's in the storage room under the bed. There's something in the picture. This is... it's the storeroom on the first floor. Alright. Off we go, then. Who are you? What was that? 
Is there something in that room? Well, we're gonna try and find out. There's nothing of interest in here. Yeah, I thought we were I thought it was this. There's an old file on top of some luggage. Akari Narumi? Looks like a report on a shadow reading case, but most of it has been erased, making it difficult to read. Subject, Akari Narumi. Client, Kyoko Narumi. Token, personal photo. Details. Result, subject deceased. Nothing I could do. Yikes. A girl in school uniform. It's been crumpled up so many times you can't make out the face. Well, that's sad. Let's keep on heading down. I don't remember seeing this room before. The wall of the house next door is just visible through the frosted glass. Some sort of lounge? Oh, this is just the the back end of the the store. Is that the storeroom? Anything interesting going on out here? Doesn't seem like it. Rain is pounding the thin glass of the window. Here we go. something under the bed. It's a small key. Maybe it opens the drawer in Hisoka's desk. Seems like it. Some dusty old paperwork was also under there. Miku Hinasaki. It looks like a shadow reading request. Case closed is written in large red letters. Subject, Miku Hinasaki. This is who we played as in the prologue. Client, Sachi Iyama. Token, personal photo. Details disappeared searching for her missing brother, but was found. Mother of one. Father unknown. Disappeared again three years later. Note, photographer. Client is her daughter's guardian. Results, search abandoned. Attempted shadow reading several times, but traces were too weak to follow. Sus suspect, sus or suspect subject is alive, but a newer or stronger token is required. It may be that the subject does not want to be found. Huh. A warm but lonely expression. She looks like she might fade away at any moment. It looks like there are a few more pages in here. Tsumugi Katashina. Client family physician. Token personal photo. Details unstable family. Tendency to blame herself for strife with her half-sister. Bears self-inflicted wounds. Note strict family may be the cause. We'll ask doctor for care after subject is found. Results search abandoned. Contacted by the family. Matter has been turned over to the police. Have been asked to drop the investigation. Yikes. Her face seems tinged with sadness. She's still missing, but her family has given up the search. Case closed is written in large red letters. Yuriko's kata? Isn't that us? Token personal photo details emotionally unstable after family lost an accident. Stopped going to school a few days ago. Neighbors say she left home as normal. Note, claim to see things others can't. Now recovered. Result taken into custody. Observation required. Safely in my custody. Believe close attention is necessary. We'll look after her for a while. Oh, that's probably referring to the shadow tracing, right? High school graduation photo. Just look at that intense expression. I wonder how much I've changed since then. I still have a hard time looking at mirrors. There's probably a little background that makes a bit more sense if you played the other Fatal Frame games. And now we're heading back to Hisoka's desk, right? Yes. So let's keep on running. This is a neat little interlude. You know, a little spooky segment. In the antiquity store, right? Antiquities, antique store? I'm not sure which, I don't remember which it is. But a place that had been so familiar and relatively safe, now experiencing the shadows. Also emphasizing that the shadows aren't always necessarily scary, right? 
You use the small key to unlock the drawer. There was a file tucked away in the desk drawer. It contains photos and several sheets of paper about Haruka Momose. Client F. Himino. Token personal photo. Details client and subject used to be cafe regulars. A group suicide was reported at the time of disappearance. Connection unknown. Note, a quiet, gentle girl seemed keen to please others. Haruka Momose. Compared to her photo with Fuyuhi, she has a somewhat darker expression. Oh, that's right, that's Fuyuhi's friend. That's sad. Miyu Hinasaki. Looks like someone else who went missing on the mountain. Wait. Oh, yeah, this is, um, this is who we played as, right? Client S. Iyama. Personal photo. Went looking for her birth mother. Missing since subject's childhood. Uttered something about Mount Hikami, according to her talent agent. Note, said to possess psychic powers. Client is very worried. Interesting. A photo of a slender, elegant young woman. So this is Miyu Hirasaki. Cassette tape from an answering machine. The label shows a date and a client's name. Okay, a missing person file for one Kazuya Sakaki. I've heard Hisoka mention the name before. Client Ren Hojo. Token personal photo. Details known to wander off. Went incommunicado while gathering uh, post-mortem photographs for Ren, awaiting possible contact. Gives a bad impression. Seems quite unlike Ren. Huh. Kazuya Sakaki. He's a friend of Ren's, but I've never met him. And then Hisoka's journal one. There was a journal tucked away in the drawer. It looks like some notes relating to clients. Met with a potential client. Doesn't know whether subject is alive or dead. Says she may have wandered off somewhere, maybe waiting for help. Doesn't want to leave home in case subject comes back on her own. I tripped up. Said something I shouldn't have. I asked what she'd do when we find her. She laughed and said when she gets back, there are things I want to tell her. Her smile looked forced. She looked worn down by it all. I should mind my own business. I'm worried about leaving Yuri alone, but this one is urgent. No time to lose, I have to go. This file lists the missing, per missing person cases that Hisoka took on. Haruka Momose, this is the girl that Fuyuhi was looking for. I may be able to track her down if I use this photograph as a token. Oh, that's right, because I guess Hisoka was looking for her, right? Okay. So now the objective has been updated to head to Mount Hikami. Okay. I can, uh, I can do that. It's a little bit dark, though. And rainy. Which means Mount Hikami might not be the most friendly right about now. I wonder if I can just kind of quick transport with the... What's it called? The map that we can access. Possibly. Maybe even probably. This leads to the bathroom. Hisoka prefers a large bathtub, but it's too large for me to relax in very easily. Oh. My bad. And that's the storage room. So this should lead to the front, I believe. There we go. Oh! Hisoka Kurosawa going outside. Well, we're certainly following in her footsteps. Hisoka. This time I'm the one who will save you. Using the camera obscura, Yuri found a number of missing person case files connected to Mount Hikami. She is now more determined than ever to head back to the mountain and find Hisoka. Ooh, that's exciting. I was gonna say, do we get a rank for the interlude? <laughs> that would be pretty funny. But, we got some points, at least. And I think the fourth drop where we try to find Haruka in our quest to find Hisoka, I guess, is going to have to wait er, to be in the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. The third drop, finally playing as Ren, was actually quite fun. Following the story of the innkeeper who um, met a rather tragic fate. There have been a lot of people we even got who have met tragic fates on Mount Hikami. Seems to be one of those places. Overall, I'm liking the game quite a bit. I think the, the combat is plenty of fun. I still need to... I guess experiment a little bit more with different combat strategies, right? Up until this point, I've just been really going for counterattacks, those fatal frames, but I think there's more to be done in terms of um, other shots that set up those spirit fragments that I can utilize to get shutter chances. Um, so that's pretty neat. The environments are really cool. I'm still working on adjusting the brightness and contrast because I don't want things to be invisible. I mean, it's supposed to be dark to an extent, right? It is a horror game. 
but I don't want to completely occlude a lot of the beautiful environments this game, you know, has constructed. The characters seem, seem really cool, the story is really interesting, and the only things I, I would say I dislike are sometimes difficulties with the camera and getting good visibility. I mean like the, the point of view, the camera that follows the character, not the camera of Skira. But trying to see some of the ghosts as we encounter them can be a little bit difficult. And then those icons, those markers telling you where items are, where the ghosts teleported to, etc. I have such a difficult time utilizing them. But otherwise, things have been progressing quite smoothly and I'm looking forward to everything to come. And I hope you guys are too. But until the next episode, this is Moon Knight Zero, and this mission is complete.